Hi, I'm Sharwin T, and this is Kitchen Smarts by Nestle Cream. If you're adventurous about food, you could easily develop an appreciation for different cuisines. And this appreciation could trigger random cravings for something French, Mexican, or Indian at, say, 3 in the morning, which shouldn't be a problem if your taste for adventure extends into your own kitchen. By introducing new techniques and smarter ways of cooking, you can create restaurant-worthy dishes in your kitchen easily. Now, here's something I came up with the last time I had a craving for Indian food. Indian butter chicken. For the ingredients, you need four pieces of boneless chicken thighs or breasts sliced into cubes, two cloves of garlic, minced, one tablespoon ginger, minced, one tablespoon cilantro stems, chopped, six basil leaves, chopped, one tablespoon curry powder, one cup tomato sauce, two tablespoons banana ketchup, one pack Nestle cream, two tablespoons butter, one tablespoon hot sauce, one fourth cup chopped unsalted peanuts, salt, and pepper. We'll start by marinating the chicken. So first, a little bit of garlic, and then some ginger, and these two are gonna bring out the flavor of the chicken, and then some cilantro stems. Usually people just use the leaves, and I'm gonna use the leaves later for garnish, but the stems are really nice when you're marinating something. And then I'm gonna add some curry powder. You can also use garam masala, but of course, curry powder is easy to find. And then some salt and pepper. You wanna be generous with the salt. And then some black pepper. And then, let's just mix it all up. Okay, ready to cook. I'll just heat up the pan. Add in some butter. Of course, with Indian cuisine, they use a lot of butter. And then, I'm gonna dump in a whole bowl of chicken. Now usually if I sear chicken, I don't want to put too many pieces together because the heat will come down. But color is not as important with this dish. We're stewing the chicken. So to save time, I'm going to put everything in. Okay, let's mix this up. You want to make sure all of the chicken is coated in the butter. Once everything is smelling nicely, like right now, we can add in the rest of our ingredients. So first, some tomato sauce. And then, I'm gonna add in some banana ketchup. I know what you're thinking. Banana ketchup and then tomato sauce. But see, when I was trying to learn this dish, an Indian chef used a little bit of a reddish sweet sauce and I think the banana ketchup approximates that and it builds a great flavor and then a little bit of spice so we'll bring in some hot sauce you can add as much as you like and to thin it out we're gonna add a little bit of water and then some fresh basil no need to chop I'm just gonna tear them and put them straight into our pot. Mix that up. And then we're gonna let this simmer for seven minutes. And meanwhile, let's prepare our cream. So I've got here a pack of Nestle cream, just enough to bring that perfect kind of richness and creaminess into our dish. You can also use this for desserts and get the same rich quality. Let's check on our chicken. And yes, it is fully cooked and ready to get coated with some smooth lovin' from our cream. Now let's turn off the heat, and we're gonna let the remaining heat cook our cream to preserve its thick, beautiful consistency. Can you see that? That is why I love using this cream. 
richness guaranteed down to the last drop. And this is ready to be plated. This is ready, it's time to taste. My favorite part. Mm. It's savory, it's spicy, and adding in that cream has given it a delightfully richer taste and a smooth velvety texture. It's Bollywood in a bowl. It's got all the drama that you want, and I won't be surprised if this is gonna get you singing and dancing with every bite. Like that. Guys, try this at home and remember to use Nestle cream. It's the only cream I use for desserts and savory dishes. I hope you enjoyed our kitchen creation today. Keep visiting Kitchen Smarts by Nestle Cream.